Welcome everyone. Um, today we're going to explore GCL's PV module. Uh, my name is Rajan Malaki and I'm part of the technical team at GCL and I'm based out of Munich in Germany. Uh, I'm excited to walk you through GCL's approach to ensuring long-lasting efficient performance of our solar products. Over the course of the next 15 minutes, uh, I'll be giving you a short introduction to the GCL group, um, our design and manufacturing innovations, uh, the rigorous testing and quality control steps that we have, um, our PV module portfolio that are available uh, to, the, to the market in Europe and the UK, and finish off with a project gallery. Starting off with the uh, introduction to the GCL group. Um, GCL system integration is a leader in the global energy sector with more than 30 years of experience and $28 billion um, of asset value. We are part of the top 500 energy companies worldwide, managing a diversified portfolio that includes semiconductor materials, energy, and of course, solar PV manufacturing. Our mission is to deliver reliable energy solutions worldwide. Here we provide a snapshot of GCL's extensive manufacturing capacity, showcasing our integrated supply chain right from the silicon, granular silicon, all the way to the modules. GCL is a global leader in photovoltaic manufacturing, and this slide highlights our production capabilities across several key components. To start off, um, we have uh, revolutionized what is called as an FBR or fluidized bed reactor production capacity. Um, so this against what used to be uh, pretty standard in the industry until a couple of years ago, what was called as a Siemens process. But with FBR, we have a capacity for around 420,000 tons annually. This is the foundation material for the entire production chain, ensuring we control the quality from the very start. Our, we have a wafer capacity of 58 gigawatts. Uh, this is again a critical com a component for converting sunlight into electricity. Our advanced wafer technology contributes to the high efficiency and durability of GCL modules. Moving on, we have a 20 gigawatt capacity for n-type cells. These n-type cells offer better efficiency, lower degradation, and improved performance in challenging conditions such as low light and high temperatures. Finally, our module manufacturing capacity is 30 gigawatts. Uh, these are the final products that get installed on the rooftops and in large scale solar farms, making us one of the largest producers in the solar mod of, of solar modules globally. As you can see, GCL, GCL's fully integrated production process right from the silicon to the finished modules enables us to maintain strict quality controls, ensuring reliable and high performance PV modules for the global market. Just to also highlight that there are several other module manufacturers in the top five, top 10, um, who are not fully integrated. I mean, not a lot of them, or maybe one of them could actually do the, um, the could do a grand, granular silicon production, but uh, most of the top five, top 10, top 20 even buy the granular silicon from GCL. So we basically supply, as you can imagine, this 420, thousand tons uh, equates to around 200 gigawatts of granular silicon capacity that means uh, we only consume like a fraction of it of course we sell this to the other competitors as well at gcl like i mentioned we have, we have pioneering the fbr technology to revolution to revolutionize silicon production this innovation delivers better fluidity for smoother process and intelligent upgrades on account of what is called as a ccz process lower cost to make PV generation more affordable, um, more stable quality of the granular silicon to meet the demands of n-type monocrystalline applications, and an improved carbon footprint, cutting life cycle emissions by up to 80%. This is also reflected in our carbon footprint values, uh, reaching below 400 kilogram equivalent of CO2, and this is basically industry leading. Um, so like I was mentioning, the benefits include lower water consumption, lower labor costs, lower power consumption, and also lower hydrogen consumption, ranging from all 30% all the way to 80% for power consumption. Um, so that is a massive difference compared to the traditional Siemens process that was pretty much standard. And this is also, um, yeah, this is basically game changing for anybody involved in the solar cell, solar module manufacturing industry. Across the entire supply chain of the, CV, of the PV module production process, GCL has fully verified carbon footprint 
certifications, which leads the way in delivering sustainable, cost-effective, and high-quality silicon to power a cleaner future. You might be imagining, can this be traced? Which leads me to the next topic. Um, with GCL, it's possible to trace the modules across the entire supply chain for our Zyro modules range. With the QR code to, on the side of the module, you're able to trace starting from the micro silica all the way to the uh, to the to the complete to the to, the, to where the PV modules have been manufactured. All data is stored and secured in the blockchain that cannot be tampered with. This is exclusively for the Zyro range of modules from GCL. In terms of innovations that GCL is working on, our perovskite modules have the potential to reduce the production cost by 50%, increase power generation by up to 20%, and 8% higher power conversion rate due to the higher module efficiency of 26.4 compared to the 21-22% right now for, for the regular Topcon modules. We hope to launch this in Q4 2025. Um, we are investing a lot of money into, the, into ramping up the production uh, and getting the certifications in place. So this is a, um, a tandem cell. So the bottom would be a uh, Topcon and the top cell would be the perovskite. So a combination of this would be uh, would, would lead to the efficiency of 26.4%, lower cost, higher yield. That is the goal and we hope to launch it by uh, by next year. In this section, we look at the design and manufacturing innovations at GCL. Um, as you know, the performance and longevity of a solar module depends on the quality of its components. At GCL, we employ rigorous quality control procedures at every stage of the manufacturing process. We begin by conducting a thorough incoming IQC or incoming quality control inspection of all the raw material, you know, the, from raw for, for the raw materials like glass, back sheet, cell, EVA, frame, junction box. We perform standard quality checks to verify that they're compliant with our specifications. Additionally, specific tests such as extended reliability tests are conducted to assess their mechanical and electrical properties. After the modules are assembled and finished, they undergo a series of finished module tests to ensure that their overall performance and reliability. These tests include PID or potential induced degradation, LID, LETID, these are light induced degradation phenomena, extended reliability tests and hail tests. By subjecting the modules to these rigorous tests, we can identify any potential issues and take corrective actions to ensure that only high quality products reach our customers. In conclusion, GCL's commitment to quality is evident in the comprehensive testing and inspection procedures we have in place. By rigorous testing, rigorously testing both raw materials and finished products, we can deliver solar modules that are reliable, durable, and capable of providing long-term value to our customers. Our focus on quality assurance is a testament to our dedication to producing solar solutions that, are, that contribute to a sustainable future. Another important aspect of manufacturing at GCL is the use of robots. As shown in the table, robots are being employed in a variety of tasks, including stringing, layup, outgoing bar handling, glue cleaning, and assembling the junction box. The number of robots used in, this, in these processes is 24 in each production line, demonstrating their significant contribution to the manufacturing process. In addition to robots, AI systems are also being integrated into the manufacturing process to enhance quality control and inspection. AI-powered vision systems are used to inspect the modules at various stages, such as after soldering, before and after lamination, during the junction soldering process. These systems help identify defects and inconsistencies, ensuring that only high-quality products reach the market. The use of robots and AI in solar manufacturing offers several key benefits, including increased efficiency and productivity, improved product quality, enhance consistency, repeatability, reduced labor costs, greater flexibility and adaptability to changing market conditions. Robots handle repetitive and precise tasks, reducing human error and increasing production speed. AI systems ensure rigorous quality control, detecting defects early and maintaining high standards. In summary, the integration of robots and AI in GCL's manufacturing process ensures high efficiency, precision, and quality contributing to the reliability and performance of our solar modules. In this section, I want to talk about um, how GCL ensures quality with the use of third-party independent test institutes. In this regard, GCL is proud to be named a top performer in Kiva's PVEL 2024 PV module reliability scorecard 
independent third party tests show that our modules outperform industry standards, especially in critical light and elevated temperature induced degradation or LETID and thermal cycling tests or the TC tests. Results show a range of 0.2 to 2.74% for the extended reliability testing or even sequence tests. These are far below the requirements of the IEC standard, which is typically 5%. So um, we are happy to share these reports with you on request and with an NDA. Um, now let's discuss the role of our certified testing lab, so GCL's own testing laboratory in ensuring the reliability of GCL modules. Our lab is equipped with advanced testing equipment and is accredited by renowned global certification authorities, including TUV SUD, TUF Rhineland, CNAS, CSA, and many others. So we're able to um, perform a variety of tests. Now, these have the advantage that um, we can use our lab as a witness test by TUF SUD, TUF Rhineland, et cetera. So we can perform the test ourselves and they basically sign off, which re not only really reduces cost, but also reduces the turnaround time in getting the results so that we can act quickly with our suppliers and also uh, tune the recipes in our factory so we get the required quality and the required output. Uh, the throughput in the production line. So accreditation guarantees that our testing procedures and equipment meet the highest international standards. This provides our customers with confidence in the quality and reliability of our solar modules. Accredited testing also facilitates easier market access and, and acceptance of our products in various regions because GCL is a multinational company acting in every single part of the, of the, world, of the globe. Um, in this next section, I want to talk about GCL's PV product portfolio. Among GCL's versatile product line, lineup, I want to highlight the black frame modules which, con which, combine with, which combine performance with aesthetics. These modules deliver 450, 45 plus, so around 450, 480 watts power output, making them ideal for residential and commercial applications where design matters as much as efficiency. With advanced technology and a sleek black frame, they seamlessly integrate into rooftops and urban settings, providing both high performance and a premium look. GCL's black frame modules are built to meet global standards, ensuring reliable energy generation for years to come. GCL offers a diversified portfolio of solar modules designed to meet specific needs in different applications, as you can see all the way from residential modules with, uh, with a power wattage of around 440 to 450, goes all the way to 710, 720 watt for the utility scale projects. Um, we would be happy to share the data sheet, pan file to run simulations with these, uh, with these modules. These are all verified pan files, verified by independent third parties, so you're basically given uh, an assurance uh, about um, about the expected yield when you run the simulations in PV Syst, for example. Um, we also have a big focus on commercial and C&I applications or commercial and industrial projects. So the wattage is between 585 to 620, uh, 625 watts. Um, this is based on the NT12R66 series and the utility scale projects typically with the NT1266 GDF. Um, so because the, the the discussion today is with the focus on all black modules, just to highlight, we have the NT10R and the NT12R 54 BGDF uh, with wattages ranging of 435 to 500 watt. Um, we employ advanced uh, technologies, including multi-bus bar or SMBB metallization technology. This allows for more micro cracks without the module showing any issues with yield and also to offer off-grid applications. We employ our own anti-wafers, high quality passivation, lower LID, LETID, and annual, lower annual degradation. Um, we also optimize encapsulating material, EVA, EP, EP, et cetera, with strict process control, ensuring PID resistance. Non-destructive cutting technology reduces the risk of micro cracks. Sand blowing, salt mist, and ammonia test uh, also ensures the uh, durability in harsh environments for such modules. Um, just to summarize our modules for the CNI segment, so you have the NT12R66 GDF with the 210 by 182 millimeter cell format. Um, based on the cell format, I want to highlight that um, the, this leads to lower voltage, that means more modules per string. This means reduced balance of system cost and lower LCOE. And this is something really special about the NT12R66 compared to many of our competitors. 
Um, when it comes to NT1066 GDF, this allows for 710 watt per module. This means maximum power density for the CNI project, thereby reducing project costs and also operation and maintenance costs, which come, which is important. Um, since we are on the topic of cell technology, I want to highlight the difference, or let's say the main uh, one of the main differences between top con and back contact modules. Um, here's a chart from PV Infolink regarding the market share of various technologies. One inference from the chart is Topcon's dominance. The chart projects a significant rise in the market share of Topcon technology in the coming years. It is expected to keep the two-third, you know, 75-80% majority of the world mar solar market share by 2028, surpassing all other technology. Um, the track record of Topcon is much higher compared to back contacts. There are several hundred gigawatts already installed worldwide for Topcon. Topcon still has potential to improve. We are not at peak efficiency yet. You know, there have been many announcements in the industry of the, in the last in the last couple of weeks uh, of Topcon reaching um, reaching efficiencies of 25, 26 percent using specialized technology. Um, um, on the other side, back contact sees limited growth, while back contact modules show some initial growth. Their market share is projected to remain relatively small, reaching only 10-12% by 2028. Also, other important considerations when choosing a technology are price, yield, and the and finally the LCOE, the holy grail. There are these are crucial considerations driving this market. At the moment, top technology offers a compelling combination of these factors: um, lower price, similar yield, making it more attractive for projects that require, that has a focus on the LTOE or the levelized cost of electricity. In this sec in this final section, I want to showcase a portfolio of successful projects undertaken by GCL in Europe and around the world. This highlights GCL's expertise in delivering modules to both rooftops and CNI solar farms. It showcases the variety and scale of projects we've undertaken from smaller installations to vast solar fields. Here's an image of GCL black, all black modules um, installed on a rooftop in Germany. These panels have a sleek modern aesthetic that can blend in, blend in well with the surrounding architecture. This uses a common, robust, and convenient way to install solar panels as it utilizes existing roof space. This is an example of a larger CNI project with around 11 megawatts in China that that went or that that went online this year. And um, here are some more projects based in Australia, Argentina, Thailand, and Ukraine. Um, more rooftop projects uh, in on large warehouses and factories in Netherlands, Australia, and Costa Rica. Uh, and finally, this is a CNI project uh, in Thailand. So I want to thank you for your attention, and I'd be happy to take questions um, either now or I suppose later. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much.